Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Beth, and if you're new here, I hope you decide to stay and become part of our family. Today, as you saw by the title, we are going to be doing um, laundry with the Jackery 240, and I'm not even sure what the washing machine is called, what the name of it is, but it's like an apartment-sized washer. And right now I can't use the washing part of it, but I'm going to show you how I'm doing laundry right now. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. I know I just got a new tripod, but I can't already can't find piece to make the uh, camera part tilt. So yeah. The whole camera, but so first, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I pushed the button or what. this started and then I'll be right back okay I've already got them washed and now I'm rinsing the soap and everything out and yes this is <laughs> a brand new plunger I just now thought of that um, I think I showed it in one of my latest hauls I had one brand new plunger, and that's what I got it for. I've seen this in YouTube videos before. Like people living off land. And honestly, the worst part to me doing laundry by hand is the ringing part. So, since I've got my washing machine, that takes care of that part. Okay. Turn this water off and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna go get my Jackery that's charging. It's clean, it's got bird poop on it. Let's see what it's charging to. It's charging. It's funny because it charges more higher out in the sun than it does if you're doing it like off electricity. Right now it's only at 33, but it's charged to 72%, so. Unplug it. Take it back over to the washing machine. Oh, where can I sit it? It's not going to get wet. I'll sit it up in, in front. I usually don't let this sit outside all night. That's why it's got leaves in it. I let it sit out. I did a little longer yesterday. And now it's got leaves in it, darn it. Okay. Get that. And you just take your stuff, push it down a little bit so you get some of the water off. And I won't put everything in there at once because I don't want to overload it. Sorry, my nose is running. Where's the other? There we go. A little bit. And 
I would open the door, but it has to be shut for it to completely run. And that part's got a five minute timer on it. It's got different normal drain. There's the wash. Should have that on the drain. I don't know why that's like that. Anyway, that spins. And I don't know if you can tell, but that is almost, it's almost spun dry. I will get that couple of things out hanging up and then I'll be back. Okay, so they're hanging up. But they really, you can see they're not dripping wet. I love that washing machine. Just if I can get the washing part to work like it's supposed to. But like I said, I don't know if my... Jackery is big enough to run it anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to finish the rest. The other pillowcases and stuff. And then I'll be back again. I thought maybe, maybe I should do this to show you. That it is dripping water. Nice day out. And by the time I get this done, everything should be dry. But that is, I mean, it's going fast because this is shapes, but um, I may show you a load of clothes too. I don't know. There is no water dripping. So let me go hang these up and I'll be back. I just put the sheet in. I mean, it has a five minute timer on it, but even with um, like a hoodie or if you wash stuff like that, jeans, it really doesn't take the five minute mark to uh, bring the water out. But yeah. You can see more water okay I'm gonna go hang that up okay I got the sheet up and these are dry already and I know yes 
they are sheets so they'll dry faster but just in the length of time to get the sheet washed okay those three those are the first three that I hung up this is almost dry it's a little bit thicker this one's almost and then of course I just hung up the sheet so but there's that Okay, now I've got like a pair of pajama kind of sweatpants. There's a pair of sweatpants. Wash this up. And then I guess I'll be back in a minute. I'll do this a little bit and then I'll just work it around. Got those rinsed. right now since I do only have the 240 that's all I'll put in there um, if you were doing it with electric you can do more than that but since I don't want to tear anything up <laughs> right now I'm just gonna do that Make sure it's on. Mm, I probably could have put the other pair in there. I've had it for quite a while. It's all yellow. Now when you have it, if you have if you're gonna use this like at home, this is really supposed to have a little hook on it so it hooks up here. But you have places to hook your water up. Even though I forgot to turn the spout thing 
foggy. But I'll get these hung up and I'll be right back. I've already got the two pairs of pants in there. There's sweatpants and little bit pants. And this button. Now, I really could have stopped it at 30, probably 36, but I'll let it run for this full minute. Full minute on my phone, anyway. See? All the water's gone already. So I'll get these hung up. I don't know what happens. I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry, guys. Now, you see? I mean, it's still wet, but it's not dripping wet like it was. So I'll get those hung up, and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see I got... I have clothes in it again, and normally this would have a thing, a little plastic thing to put on top of the clothes, too. But when I got it back, after I lined it out... Yeah, with as high as that goes, I don't know if the washing department would work on this or not. Honestly. But at least that gives you an idea. I'll have to look to see what it was on when I started, but it's still at 74%. So that's good. Oh, here comes a train. Let this spin out. And hang it up and I'll be back. Okay, so. Take us back over here and plug it back in. So I can finish charging for the day. And there is a little bit of clouds and stuff out, so but it's charging at 20. So I'll let that charge and I will come back in, come back on when it's time to bring it in and we'll see what it's charged at. Uh, the last few days I've been able to get up to 100, but since I used the washing machine quite a few times today we'll see how much I can get it charged up and here's my clothes oh those are already those are already dry I knew those would be because these are just leggings but this thick pair is already dry I just hung that up just hung that up my towels don't mind my dirty towel this is what I used to uh, dye my hair but that was black when I started I guess there is a little bit of black on the back of it, but there was black on both sides. But those are drying pretty good. Even my heavy sweatpants are almost, uh, the top right there is still wet, but yep, there's all my laundry. in for a little bit and then I will come back out when it's around time to maybe I could turn that a little bit 
because you do have to make sure it's facing the sun. There's 22. So, but yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's such a windy day. But my phone is about ready to die, so I just wanted to come see how this is charging. So I can charge my phone a little bit. And it's been a little while. It's on 80, charging at 23 watts. So I'm going to take it in a little bit and charge my phone. I'm not sure if I'll come back or not, but I love you guys. Okay, the sun is pretty much going down for the day. Well, not going down, but behind the clouds, so... And I did have to bring my charger in earlier to charge my phone. So, yeah, and it's not charging any at all. But it is up to 83% even after I took it in and charged my phone. So, yeah. So, so sorry, I always put my hand over there. Sorry. Bad. Whew, rough day, but remember, always love yourself, always stay beautiful, stay safe, and always remember to tell the ones you love that you love them, because you never know if it's going to be the last time that you ever get to tell them, and I love you guys.